marketing is part of uh, any educational processes. It stimulates your intellect um, and brings out the best in you in terms of articulating your thoughts to an audience. See, first is listening, after that is speaking. I think people misunderstand it by public speaking, being smart enough to speak in public. That's not all. Debating is expressing, having the freedom to speak your mind out and having no bias, having no prejudices, having no in-feelings towards others. And I think every human has the right to speak his own mind. Debating is uh, one of the premier and one of the uh, best forms of uh, public speaking and uh, reasoning. In the sense, it uh, caters to the human faculty of reasoning and um, logical, logical and critical thinking. So, uh, by debating, what you attain is uh, expressing and being yourself. But you need to be very clear when you're talking about the students. People should know exactly what critical thinking about is. See, you cannot be debating on an issue in which you have no, nothing to contribute. For instance, I cannot be debating on cyber crime because I have no idea about cyber crime. Meaning, I need to learn, I need to read, I need to figure out for myself what are the issues surrounding cyber crime. Critical thinking is also appreciating and having a different angle of a viewpoint which may not be agreeable to you. But as an individual, it will be agreeable to me. So it's very essential that each student should have a critical opinion and appreciation for the topic that you will be having a debate on. First and foremost, I must involve myself in and deepen my understanding of cybercrime. Similarly, in any debate, you've got to be informed. If you're not informed, you cannot debate. Frame our thoughts on three aspects that I always keep on telling. Uh, they are, are, uh, A R E, uh, argument, your reasoning, and your evidence. You know, if you have an argument why you think so, the basis of why you think so, and evidences might be personal anecdotes, might be real life incidents, might be statistics to prove that what you think is right. You may not speak the Queen's language, you may not speak the best, like a best debater, but once you come on the stage and you start speaking, at least that experience what you get, you will become a better speaker. As far as debating is concerned, uh, I, I have three C's in my mind at all times with the young people. Young people need to become confident, competent, and compassionate. Confidence can be manifested through debates. I don't think you have a way out. The, the future for young people is such that unless you speak up, you'll be always a backbencher. So the choice then narrows down to you. Do you want to lead or do you want to follow? Do you want to be the sheep or do you want to be the shepherd? Do you want to be a battery hen or do you want to be a race horse? I myself was not a good speaker. In fact, up to 9th class I was a very shy type of person. But then in 11th class I decided this is not going to help me. Continuously go for it. Never put yourself down. Nobody is perfect. Just speak. Keep on. Keep on participating. I don't have a formula to offer. It is only through questioning and criticism that society will move forward. This is not something that's new to our society. The Greeks did it. The Romans did it way back. So I have nothing new to offer. We've got to take wisdom from our past. Think. Challenge yourself. Some children I found, they have got a beautiful voice, but no, no experience of public speaking. We started working on them, and then they proved to be good speaker. So some skill is there, which is already there, 
or some talent is there in the child but that talent if it is nourished encouraged and they are then appreciated and you will find he is a very good speaker uh, look uh, today's world is uh, it's a global town people from diverse societies diverse sects uh, diverse socio economic backgrounds and this is what matters some people are born great speaker some people develop a speaking skill well, i love it i love controversy uh, of the records uh, you might you're always uh, famous if you call that you're always famous if or infamous if you are at the heart of any controversy absolutely it will educate us it will let us know who we are what our stand on as far as we can respect the culture the heritage of the country that we live in start speaking wherever you are whatever is the situation start speaking i see a very healthy society an educated society a reasoning society a discussing society a questioning society and as you said initially critical thinkers be ambitious and be what you are cap capable of being as our gems say learn aspire